problem number 7, we have to calculate the total electric field at point A due to point charges Q sub 1 and Q sub 2. So let's cite our given values first. So our Q sub 1, that's negative 50 microcoulombs or negative 50 times 10 raised to negative 6 coulombs. Our Q sub 2, that's positive 50 microcoulombs or positive 50 times 10 raised to negative 6 coulombs. Sa ating mga given values, both values have the same pot na magnitude, 50 microcoulombs, but differ on their signs. Ang tawag po dito sa ganitong mga charges are dipoles. Again, dipole. Let me proceed the distance between our particle A to particle Q sub 1. That is 60 centimeters or 0 0.60 meter. Next, the distance between our particle A and Q sub 2. That's 30 centimeters or 0 0.30 meter. So, meron po po ba tayong given values? Wala na po. Maliban po sa mga angles po natin. And we will be just using those angles later during the determination of our uh, vector components. Okay po. So, let's proceed with ano pong variable na hahanapan po natin ng ating value and that is the total electric field with letter symbol capital letter E at meron po siyang unit na newtons per column na may letter symbols na N per C. Okay po, so proceed na po tayo sa ating solution. Point A as a reference particle, we have dalawa na electric fields acting at point A because of our charges Q sub 1 and Q sub 2. E sub 1 at saka E sub 2. Let's first find out the magnitude of our E sub 1 and E sub 2. Let's start with E sub 1. Let's follow the formula K times Q sub 1 over R squared. So K is 8.988 times 10 raised to positive 9 newtons times meter squared per column squared times our Q sub 1 is negative 50, but then we, since we are about to, to calculate the magnitude of our E sub 1, we have to disregard our negative sign. And directly, we'll just write 50 times 10 raised to negative 6 columns divided by the distance between our um, particle 1 and particle A. That's 0 0.60 meter, and don't forget our exponent 2. Now, what's the value of our E sub 1? So, we have here 1,248,333 and 333. The unit is for the electric field is Newton per column. Yan po ang magnitude ng E sub 1 po natin. Proceed po tayo sa magnitude ng ating E sub 2. Same formula, K okay, times Q. But instead of sub 1, we have to use sub 2 over r squared. So k is again 8.988 times 10 raised to positive 9 newtons times meter squared per column squared times our q sub 2 that's positive 50. So 50 times 10 raised to negative 6 columns divided by the distance between our point a and q sub 2 that's 30 centimeters or 0 0.30 meter, then don't forget yung exponent 2 po natin. So, ano po yung value ng E sub 2 po natin? So, 4,993,333 or 0.333 newtons per column. Ladies and gentlemen, these are the magnitudes of E sub 1 and E sub 2. Proceed po tayo sa ating next step, the free body diagram ng ating E sub 1. So, yung E sub 1 po natin, um, yung A po natin is nasa taas. 
Ayan. And this is positive charge. At saka yung Q sub 1 po natin ay nasa the rightmost part ng X axis po natin. Dito po. So, let me denote this one as our Q sub 1 na meron pong negative charge. So, here we have two unlike charges. They will attract. So, anong force? Attractive force or attraction. What will happen if attractive force or attraction? They will move towards each other. What will happen sa arrow po nila? Yung arrow po ni A, it will point towards Q sub 1. At yung arrow naman ni Q sub 1, it will point towards point A. That's the free body diagram of our E sub 1. Proceed po tayo sa free body diagram ng E sub 2 po natin. So, yung A po natin is nasa taas and that is uh, positive charge. At yung Q sub 2 natin nasa baba lamang po niya. This is Q sub 2 at positive din po. So, here we have two positive charges. What will happen sa two positive charges? They will repel. Anong force? Repulsive or repulsion. What will happen is repulsive or repulsion. They will move away from each other. Ano po yung mangyayari sa arrow po nila? Yung kay A, it will point upward. Ang yung kay B naman, it will point downward. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is the free body diagram ng ating E sub 2. So, since our reference particle is point A, we have to consider lamang po ang directions ng ating A sa both natin na electric field. For E sub 1, dito po tayo. At for E sub 2, dito po tayo. And given po yung ating E sub 1 at E sub 2 na mga arrows ng ating A, we can now draw our free body diagram. So, meron po tayo dito E sub net. Let me first draw an imaginary line. Sa origin po natin, dito po yung ating A. Unahin po muna natin pag-draw ang E sub 1 po natin. So, saan po yung ating mas mataas na value para sa ating mga E? So, balik po tayo sa previous slide po natin. Yung E sub 1, it's 1 million. Ang E sub 2, it's 4 million. So, ibig sabihin, mas malaki po ang value or the intensity ng electric field ng E sub 2 compared sa E sub 1. That means, mas mataas po ang length ng arrow ng E sub 2 compared sa E sub 1. Sa E sub net po natin na diagram, yung E sub 1 po natin is in sa fourth quadrant, pointing downward. And let me denote this one as E sub 1 na meron po siyang angle dito na 30 degrees base po sa ating given na diagram. I am using the tip to fail method. So, sa tip po ng ating E sub 1, gagawa po ako ulit ng isang imaginary Cartesian plane. At gamit po itong imaginary Cartesian plane, dito po ako magdudraw ng aking E sub 2. Yung E sub 2 po natin, based sa ating free body diagram, it points upward and mas mataas ang kanyang length compared sa E sub 1. And let me denote this one as E sub 2. And for us to diagrammatically represent our E sub net, all we have to do is to connect the tail of our first to the tip of our second vector. At ito po iyan. And let me denote this one as E sub net. Ladies and gentlemen, that is our free body diagram for the net electric field for this problem. Ano po yung gagawin po natin next sa ating uh, solution process? We have to find the X and Y components ng ating uh, electric field sub 1. For the X component, a formula is E sub 1 cosine the angle. So, substitution po tayo. So, ang value ng E sub 1 po natin, based doon sa na-solve po natin, is 1,248,000. Uh, Three hundred thirty-three point three 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 newtons per column, cosine thirty degrees. One million eighty-one thousand eighty-eight three hundred seventy-nine newtons per column. Balik po tayo sa diagram po natin doon sa may E sub net. Ah, uh, the x component po ng E sub net dito po. Let me denote this one as E sub 1x. 
At ang Y component po ng E sub 1 po natin is ito po. And let me denote this one as E sub 1Y. So, base po sa ating diagram sa E sub net is E sub 1X positive or negative? Okay, positive. So, proceed po tayo sa ating um, Y component of our E sub 1. Formula is E sub 1 sine theta. 1 million. 248,333.333 newtons per column sine 30 degrees. So that is 624,166.6665 newtons per column. Balik po tayo sa diagram po natin ng net electric field. For E sub 1, Y. Ano po ang sign ng ating E sub 1, Y? It's negative. Ladies and gentlemen, those are the X and the Y components of E sub 1. Proceed po tayo sa pag-solve ng X and Y component ng E sub 2. But before that, let me draw po yung ating components ng E sub 2. So kung mapapansin po ninyo, ang E sub 2 po natin, it lies along y-axis and it has its component na ito po. I am drawing na po. Hopefully, klaro po just screen po ninyo. And let me denote this one as E sub 2y. Meron po ba tayong x component ng E sub 2? Wala po tayong x component ni E sub 2. So, ano po ang value ng E sub 2x? Okay, zero. Next, for the Y component ng ating E sub 2, it's 4,993,000. Ladies and gentlemen, those are our values for E sub 2X and E sub 2Y. Balik po tayo sa diagram natin for the E sub net. Let's draw the X and the Y components ng E sub net po natin. Yung E sub net po natin, the X component po is ito. Let me just uh, follow na lang po yung line ng E sub 1X. Let me denote this one as E sub net X. At yung ito naman pataas, it's E sub net Y. At ito na po kanyang direction. If you have determined po through our diagram, our X and the Y components of E sub net, ano po yung next na, na gagawin po natin sa solution process? So we have to find the summation of our X's and our Wise. And the summation of x serves as the E subnet x and the summation of y serves as our E subnet y already. Sige po, so solve po natin ang summation ng lahat ng x. Summation ng x po natin na may formula E sub 1x plus E sub 2x. So... We'll just copy E sub 1x. It's 1.081.88.379 Newtons per column. Plus, ang E sub 2x po natin, it's 0. So, automatically, our E sub x is 1.08088.379 Newtons per column. Proceed po tayo sa summation ng ating y. So here we have e sub 1y plus e sub 2y. Substitution po tayo ng e sub 1y po natin is negative 6, 204, 166.6665 newtons per column plus so, ibalikan po natin yung direction ni E sub 2Y. Is it positive or negative po? Okay, positive. So, substitute E sub 2Y for 993 333.333 newtons per column. It's 4,369,000. 6.67 newtons per column. So we have our x and y components of our 
e subnet. Ano po yung susunod po natin gagawin sa solution process po natin? So, we will now solve the magnitude of our e subnet using the Pythagorean theorem. So, e subnet equals the square root of the summation of x squared plus the summation of y squared. Substitution naman po tayo dito. So, e sub x squared, e sub x, it's 1 million, 81,088.379 squared plus for e sub y squared, 4,369,166.667 squared newtons per volume. It's 4,500,929.843 newtons per column. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the magnitude of our e subnet. What's the next step po sa process po natin dito? Okay, identify the direction of our e subnet. Theta equals the inverse time, the summation of y over the summation of x. Substitution po tayo, inverse time, summation of y, that's 4,369,000. 166.667 newtons per column divided by yung ating summation ng x. That's 1,081,088.379 newtons per column. So 76.102,113.0 75 degrees. So, our E subnet here equals 4.50 times 10 raised to, let's just count for the number of jumps from the decimal point, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, 6 unit is newtons per column. Then, direction po natin at 76.10 degrees north of east. Ladies and gentlemen, our E sub net is 4.50 times 10 raised to positive 6 newtons per column at 76.10 degrees north of east.